Oh, hey, this is on CQ2000, and I'm here with my buddy on KC, and we have a little flushing to do. He has lots of old expired food from his fridge, and we're just gonna have a little fun. Yeah, before we flush, maybe we should put this little goodie inside. Okay. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, this is an American standard. It's a modern one. It's, of course, a 1.6 gallons per flush one. And it has that um, off, little squarish upper, bigger part in shape. So, first I'm going to take the tank off. And then um, we're going to drop in this nice little puck. There it goes. And has a fluid master, and I guess American Standard these days are actually making their toilets with these. I don't think they make their own fill valves anymore. I'm not sure about the flapper part either. But of course, you see your typical modern, well, at the time of the recording of this video, the lever for it. So now we're gonna let that little soak it out. It's probably still gonna not be blue by the time we flush it. But, anyways, <laughs> that's it for now. So, um,. Here we go. What should we throw in first? Some first. expired moldy milk, right? Yeah, that smells like it has that black fungus in it. It smells like that. <laughs> and then we got some pudding. Yeah, yeah, I'd break that up into at least two pieces. Just right. make sure it doesn't clog. Let me just break it up then. Or you could use a spoon, I guess. Some really hard and expired cake. Again, make sure the camera focuses so you can see it all nice and good. Uh, get this thing over there. Okay. Oh. And um, some more cake again. Oh, that's a big piece, isn't it now? So, let me wash my hands too. Uh, on that way. And look at all this expired yogurt. What are we gonna do with these, KC? What do you think we should do? I think the toilet is hungry. Yeah, the toilet's hungry, just like us. We haven't ate all day. Look at those nice pops. Ah, uh, there it goes. That one looks quite empty now. Ah, uh, it's getting there. Definitely. So, got more expired yogurts to do. So a lot more plops going in. Got to crush those in. Got to wiggle out all those little goodies. Come on. Let's see if I can help squeeze them out too. <laughs> yeah, this is quite a crazy mess. Whoa. Oh yeah, it's a great idea. Scoop it all out. All that gunk. Plop. Now, this is kind of extreme, I have to admit. A lot of expired food. One delicious combination. Wow. Uh, yeah. It's not bad. Put that down there for now. Uh, what next do we got? Frozen. Some fruit thing, I guess. Fruit. Some kind of fruit thing here. Some kind of, yeah. So, yeah, it's all nice in there. Maybe we should put these nice cold puddings first so the water will help thaw them out. This is definitely quite a mix here. <laughs> Getting all these in there. So much expired stuff. Uh, let me check. Here's another one. That one definitely looks like a good plop. Good dump. <laughs> uh, oh, right. Here's another moldy, smelly fruit mix. It doesn't smell good. It looks nice though. It smells actually good and bad. It has a nice sweet fruit smell to it, but at the same time, it it's no good. Besides, all this stuff is 
expired anyways. Yeah. So it's Aragon, very expired. Okay. Just a little distraction there, but we're all back in good. <laughs> so, um. Salsa. Oh, yeah, we got some expired ah. salsa stuff. Really old and mucky oh. and stuff. Quite mucky. Oh, uh, yeah, that doesn't look good. Um, uh, sounds like diarrhea there. <laughs> you gotta have those days sometimes, especially when you're traveling and you're not accustomed to the stuff you're eating. Definitely really, um, awful smelling. Okay, that's another nice big one. I think this is almost it. Oh yeah, that'll help nicely dilute it, make it easier. And digestion. Okay. So now, oh, it's still in there. Ah, oh, yum. I think that yogurt back over there we didn't do the first one. Yeah, that was the first oh. expired thing. So we can get that one. This is the original right there. Yeah. All this stuff lasts a long time. <laughs> <laughs> that one sounded great. Hey, all this food is great tasting food, great companies. We've just had it sitting for way too long. And it's actually healthy when these companies who make these products have food that expires. You don't want a food that never expires because that just shows you ain't real and there's too much, probably some form of chemical preservatives in it. Like McDonald's. <laughs> yeah. Besides, when food never expires, I mean, not even the flies will come to it and actually consider it food. So, it's a good thing that, you know, as much as some of these name brands probably got recorded on this, this is not to offend them or anything. It's just saying, you know, it's just what we decided to do with this. Yeah, I know, the compost, probably a good idea, but flesh. it was just this nice moment. Who wants to give the first flush? Yeah, you give it a shot, Casey. You have a nice, good flush. Nice. Mm. Wow, it's blue already. That was a good flush, especially for a 1.6 gallons per flush. Probably a little bit more of it. One thing I love about this Flume Master system is it shuts off really fast. It's almost there. Okay, now for the second flush. Alright. Right. Uh oh, there we go. Done. Done, all done, nice and excellent. There you have it. A little jet hole down there. Yeah. So, now all we do is throw all this nice tasty stuff into, um, well, like, <laughs> it's gone now into the recycling, and this is our video. Okay.